shows that the government is theoretically serious about trying these AI models. But what I'm really curious to see, and I and I'll want to track this too, is I, I want to see how the government employees and the government operations actually incorporate Grok and or other AI tools into their into their day to day. Uh, operations. It's one thing to buy the software. I mean, we see plenty of government entities that go out and buy software, but then they never deploy it or they deploy it and it doesn't go well and it fails. They spend a ton of money on it and it, it doesn't deliver any tangible value. But I do think it's at high risk of becoming shelfware. I mean, I, I'm not saying it necessarily will, but I'd say of all technology procurement use cases we hear of or case studies we hear of, this would be one where I'd say this looks to me like something that could end up being a big investment in technology that never gets used if they don't deploy it effectively not because there's anything wrong with grok although there sounds like there is something wrong with grok on the on the, the latest update they did but that that's not the real issue the real issue is how well they can handle change management and embedding grok and other ai tools into day-to-day -day operations and getting people to ultimately adopt and use the software that's that's a that's an uphill battle for any organization but especially a large government entity like the u.s pentagon